Oh, use the mic. Yeah. Well, as I've said just now in my statement, uh, I, I feel that um, there's no right time. Yeah, uh, GE 14, given that it's an accumulation of uh, the work that we have done, and also the observation that I, I have of the political situation, which is not good. Uh, I just want to jump in and say that, you know, um, let me take this agenda to the parliament and see what I can do in this new um, approach. So, uh, Pakatan Harapan, well, you can't be asking me to join uh, Barisan National because they are the violators, <laughs> to be honest. Um, there are other parties, of course, but I think that, you know, Pakatan Harapan, looking at their manifesto, I do agree with their manifesto. So that would be the platform that I will use. Um, why an independent ticket and not under a uh, Pakatan Harapan party, PKR, BMP, for example? Yeah, uh, it has to be independent because if I'm carrying a reform agenda, uh, I have to stay focused. Um, and, um, and I think I would like to do that. Yeah. So Maria, Maria, how different is it? Uh, I mean, what is the difference between joining a party and contesting under that ticket, uh, contesting under the party that you join, and joining as an independent candidate but also contesting under a flag anyway? If you're concerned about independence, then how is, I mean, wouldn't it be the same? The independence is not so much uh, in terms of the logo itself, but the independence is actually keeping on to my agenda, which is the reform agenda. I think that matters most to me. And uh, I should be able to also have the space that, um, to also put up my <coughs> own uh, positions uh, if there are certain uh, controversial issues. Yeah? And, and I think that you know, um, being in the parliament is going to be a very tough fight. Yeah? Uh, and uh, not just within the party that you have to deal with, but uh, you are actually dealing with uh, Barista <coughs> National and so forth. So I feel that you know, uh, having a platform uh, as an independent will keep me focused and I will not be alone uh, doing this. I will have uh, a team who will be helping me to focus my agenda and I hope that the CSO will pull me back if I do step out of line. <laughs> And also, uh, just one more point, I really do not want to get too much involved in the party politics. Yet. So as an independent, I hope that uh, I don't have to do that uh, and just stay focused on the agenda. Uh, Is there a particular party that you are interested in? At the moment, um, not really because there are no seats offered yet. <laughs> uh, they are still uh, negotiating for it, so I will leave it. Um, for today, it is actually to announce my resignation and also that I'm offering myself as a candidate. What has so the uh, Pakatan Harapan Secretariat uh, responded to your intentions to contest as an independent and not under a party logo or a party banner? If I read the media uh, correctly, I think that they are open to it. So, uh, and I understand that they will have to take time to sort out the seats and uh, where am I contesting. So give them some time. So Maria, uh, just to clarify, does this mean that if you if you win, if, if you become an MP, you will not join a party, you will maintain as an independent, correct? Yes. How closely will you be working with the state? Because you have you have resigned, but you're saying you want to bring the civil society agenda to Parliament. So how closely will you be maintaining ties with Berlin and bringing that agenda forward? Well, I hope I will have some ties uh, as to getting involved in their decision making. They are they are definitely independent and on their own. Uh, but this is not just about Bursay's agenda. Yeah, it's not just about electoral reform. I too have my own agenda, which is uh, gender equality and also um, about income disparities. Uh, so I will be bringing a much more wider. Um, reform agenda to the parliament. So I hope to also work with other NGOs uh, who is um, also fighting on the same uh, agenda as me. Uh, yeah, Maria, some, uh, some may not agree with you uh, contest under PH <coughs> and they hope you can contest as a true independence or what? So. True independence. Uh, 
maybe you can use your own logo or not on the party fight. Ah, Magana Hawaii. Well, I don't want a three corner fight. Yeah. Um, definitely, I'm not going to uh, go into a seat where Pakatan Harapan is also putting a candidate. So. <coughs> It's, it's already, um, we are going to face uh, GE14 with three corners. I will not add on. Because at the end of the day, what is my purpose? My sole purpose is actually to get my agenda there. So the sole purpose is, I hope I can get a seat and win it and get my agenda. So I will not uh, three corner Pakatan Harapan, nor any other uh, parties if possible. Uh, so, so definitely independent uh, and under the PH logo. Have you decided on the seat? No. So the seat will let uh, Pakata Halapa be yes. decided? Yes. Sorry, regarding the <coughs> statement you made before, you said that Berse is neutral, but right now you, you're standing up for election under, under Pakata Halapa. So what is the reason you're standing up for election under Pakata Halapa? Since you said that Berse is neutral, Mercy is never neutral because we have taken sides uh, uh, against any violators of democracy. So, um, and I have resigned, so I'm no, no longer Mercy. So that has to be very clear. And two is that, you know, I believe that the, the leadership in Mercy will continue being um, uh, non partisan, they will still push the electoral reform. If I do step in line, and uh, I am very confident Berse will be the first to raise a criticism against me. So let us be clear that, you know, that will be Berse. For me, I think that, you know, as I've said, I do agree with Pakata Harapan's uh, manifesto. So why not go with it? Maria, what do you think it means? You have people like uh, Wan Saifo, Wan Jan joining the opposition, telling you, also, we're seeing intellectual civil society both coming forward to join Pakatan. What do you think this says about the current political landscape in Malaysia? Why are you feeling this is the time? Well, it's also about time that we bring quality debates, yeah? Uh, because what we want is good policies and good laws to be uh, tabled, not just at the parliament level, yeah? At the state level. And we should be moving towards a much more um, inclusive, uh, a well-debated uh, um, parliament sessions. And I, and I feel that, you know, we, with one Saifu there, uh, myself there, and don't forget that within Pakatan Harapan, there are MPs who, are, who have the content, and we can work together. So it will actually uh, bring a new, new uh, sense of uh, discussion to the parliament if we actually try our best to work together to actually change the uh, narrative that is in parliament, not shouting at each other, because that doesn't mean that it's a debate. But I think that, you know, there are so many laws that have just been uh, rushed through without much of a debate. And we, we need to actually step in and try to see what we can do to prevent that. Would you, uh, uh, bouncing off that, um, you know, one side who is joining politics, you are joining politics, is that a sign to, to, I mean, the public might see that as, you know, is civil society actually effective in bringing about change? Do you have to, you know, resort to politics? So what is your response to that? It's only two of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only two of us. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, uh, I think that it's a good idea for us to join uh, politics to uh, at least change the narrative within the parliament. And um, two of us plus the Pakatan Harapan uh, MPs, uh, perhaps we may make some change there. And as um, we have expressed, this is another space. Don't forget that we still have the civil society. They will continue inclusive, I hope, of street protests, uh, of uh, submitting memorandums, of uh, raising their voices if they do not agree. Uh, that has to still go on. So inside and outside, we have to actually push the reform agenda so that we, at the end of the day, move towards a system that we have changed. Because it's not just about removing, uh, removing leaders. We need to look at the system because our system has not been working for us. 
So how do we actually change it? We can try these strategies and entering into parliament is just one of the strategy. If I could ask per se, uh, you might have already seen some response online. Um, how are you going to work to, to respond to the perception that per se is now might seem partisan or that it's playing into the narrative that, that per se was always wanted towards the opposition because this is something you are contending with right now? Uh, I'll answer. I just can answer. Uh, we, we have always been, uh, like what Maria said, uh, non, not neutral but pro reform. So we, are, we have always been uh, willing to work with anyone, uh, with any uh, individuals, party, civil society that is pro-reform. Uh, in that sense, in all our events, we invited everyone. Uh, it, it is uh, sad that uh, some uh, of the political blocs do not want to align to our reform agendas. That, that's, that has to be maintained has to be resonated across the board. And we, have, uh, we will continue our work uh, with free and fair elections. We will continue to be the lifeline of the rakyat. If Bersih is not here, if Bersih is just about Maria or Ambiga or any individual, then where does the rakyat go to when they need to raise their voice? That is the, uh, the, 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 the proof has always been shown in our rallies. The 500,000, the 200,000, the 100,000 of people, the voices of the riot that come, they come for Bersih, not for individuals. We are together in it as a mass movement, as a people's movement, not individuals. That has to be clear. If I fall, if Rama fall, if anybody else fall, anybody go, go out of line, the right act will push on with Bersih. Bersih will live on as long as the right act want it to be. Can I just add? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe um, I can say something about Bersih that perhaps you cannot. Um, which is this, Bursi has evolved, and, and this is congratulations to Maria and the steering committee of Bursi. They have created a system within Bursi which is so transparent, so efficient, it will work no matter who is there as the steering committee. And they have set the guidelines, they have set the policy. And I think as long as whoever is there just follows through with that, uh, then you know uh, th there will be no problem with Bursi. And I congratulate the steering committee for having set up a strong foundation in Bursi. But on the issue of partisan, um, I keep hearing this over and over again, and I must say this. It is not that we support the opposition, it is that the opposition supports us. Barisan does not support us. They are partisan, we, we are not. So we work with whoever supports us. And I think that distinction always has to be made. I understand the point about the perception. There may well be a, a perception that, that because one of our, in our midst has joined politics, uh, the whole movement is tainted. That cannot be, that doesn't make sense at all. The whole movement is not, as uh, Sharon has said, about one person, it never has been. It's not even about a few people. It's about the right, yeah, and I think Sharu has put that very, very well. And before anyone accuses Berse or any civil society, and it's always civil society that's being uh, accused, uh, particularly civil society who yeah, holds the good. government to account. They don't like being held to account. So the easiest thing for them to do is to blame you and say you're being partisan. Because we don't support stealing of right, yeah, money. We don't support corruption, right? We can't. So we have to put up with these allegations. But all I would ask is that people look at the message that the uh, civil society organizations, their agenda, what is their purpose? Look at what they're doing. With very little support from the government, I would add. It's entirely support from the Raya. If you look at the message of free and fair elections, how is that partisan? 
since you're here, I'll be good. Yeah. Can you tell us if you have any intentions to run for elections in G14? Okay, I am not as courageous as my <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not running. <laughs> so I, I don't know where the rumor about <clears throat> Sagama and all that. I know, I read it yesterday and I had a bit of a laugh. But no, I'm not running. Why not? <clears throat> Uh, I, I told you I'm not as brave as Any any other questions? Anyone else uh, want to say anything? Uh, just to clarify, you you won't stand for anything less than MP. You won't like an Adun or something like that. Like, let's say let's say Pakistan Harappan decides, you know, we don't have enough MP seats. We'll give you an Adun seat and say, how do you? How would you respond to that? Well, I think I would prefer the parliament because if you are talking about electoral reform, changing laws and all that, it's federal. Yeah. So, uh, and federal is the one that makes the difference. So, um, yes, nothing less than the parliament. And if they don't give, and if they don't give that to you? Well, then they don't stand. Huh? Don't stand. <laughs> Because uh, it's actually trying to put forward the reform agenda. So if you are at the state level, how can you push for reform for an alternative uh, electoral system when it's actually federal that makes the decision? All right. Uh, if uh, there are no further questions, uh, I think we can end at this point. Um, what we would like to do is uh, have a photo session. Uh,